Open Parasolid file. Because the inner surface is smooth, we will copy the entire surface to become a cutting surface. First, we create a surface using the Revolved Surface command. Create Profile Sketch on the front plane. Then choose Convert Entities. Select Edge Slash and Circular Edge Lines on Product Wall. OK. Create center line. Trim to closest. Select trim corner. OK. Then choose revolved surface. OK. Hide surface. Offset surface. Set offset distance at zero. Click face, then choose select tangency. Unselect this face. Select other face. OK. Hide solid body, then show surface revolve 1. Choose trim surface. Select trim tool, then choose surface to keep. OK. Create parting surface on the top plane. Choose sketch. Create center rectangular. Make equal. Set dimension at 420 millimeters. Select outer edge, then convert entities. On the surface toolbar, choose planar surface. OK. Knit surface. Select all surface. Check merge entities. OK. Click sketch 2, then choose extruded boss. Clear selections. Select Region 1 and Region 2. In Direction 1, set depth at 80 mm. In Direction 2, set depth at 140 mm. OK. Choose Combine, and check Substract. Boss Extrude 1, as Main Body. And select Bodies to Substract. Show Preview. OK. See the result by looking at the section view piece. Choose split. Select surface bodies, and solid bodies. Then click cut bodies. Select all. OK. Now the core and cavity are separated. Then we create interlock surface. On the front plane, choose sketch. Create line. And center line. Set the angle at 10 degrees. Height at 40 millimeters. Width at 45 millimeters. Choose revolved surface. OK. On the feature toolbar, choose split. Select trim tools and select bodies to split. Cut bodies. Select all. OK. Combine. Add type. Select split 1 and split 2. OK.
Move face cavity side at 0.5 millimeters flip direction. OK. Create fillet at 2 millimeters of radius. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.